hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to if you knew as you can see by the title today's video is going to be a collaboration of a whole bunch of diys that i decided i want to do myself because i did not want to spend the quaint on the extra product if you guys do recreate this make sure to go follow my instagram and you guys can send it to me on there tag me in your posts and everything i would love to see you guys recreation of what i did i would love to see you guys recreations on your twists and turns that you put on my diys which you guys did to make it your own so again make sure to go follow me on there and while you're at it you can follow all my other social medias they'll be on the screen or in the description box below make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love diys do it yourself i mean we're in quarantine we have nothing else to do so why not you know get creative click that big red subscribe button it's free like it helps my channel out after you do that make sure you click that bell it notifies you every single time i post because youtube doesn't do its job <laughs> so in this video i did a total of three diys for one i created a basketball purse you guys of course seen all these items in the thumbnail i created stack leggings and then i did two separate pairs of fluffy slides which i also did a tiktok on there so if you guys want to go see those um my tiktok again at name will be on the screen and um i'm probably going to include them in the video anyways but you still should go follow me on my tiktoks for other behind the scenes activities all right so first project i decided to tackle was the fluffy slides like i said i did a total of two different ones so the first one i decided to do was this one this was the most simple one it was just this um fox fur you know brown going into a black slide um, you guys, again, are going to see how I do it later on in the video. I decided to do a silent video because I'm very bad at explaining, so I'll just put the text on the screen. You guys can read along and follow if you want. But, um, yeah, here's how they turned out. Now, I will say, when you are doing these slides, fur gets everywhere, so... I really don't know what to tell you. I don't think you can stop fur from getting everywhere, but I did it on my fur carpet, you know, to make it more aesthetic and cute for the video. I would recommend to not do that because, um too much fur but yeah this is how these ones turned out i think these are super cute and they're actually one of my favorites To the bad things, finding them hell. Thank you for oh my God, that's my baby. And then, of course, I tried to do the iconic Chanel fluffy slides. They didn't turn out too well, but I still think they are okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing them. I probably, I'm probably not. But you know, it's whatever. I try. I'm gonna probably just be purchasing these honestly because I, I don't have the time. But um, yeah, like I said, this one you can obviously see is thicker than this one and this one came out better than this one. I don't know. The only problem I had with these ones, I used two different fur fabrics for these. This I used like a um boa, is that what it's called? They did not stick. Like it was so hard. Some some of the pieces still aren't sticking. Like I thought E6000 glue was the was the thing. I thought it was the permanent solution. These aren't permanent.
y'all. So fair warning when you're making these fluffy slides. Um, feathers and fur is everywhere. Like it's in my nose, it's in my hair. There's feathers everywhere. There's feathers in the house. There's feathers on the couch. There's feathers in the drawer. There's feathers on the floor. Okay, Dr. Shoes who? Because baby, I'm living the Dr. Shoes life. Fair warning if you guys wanna do this, um, it gets extremely, extremely messy. I'm pretty, I feel feathers in my mouth right now, honestly. So the next DIY I decided to take on was the one I was the most excited for. This was the reason that I actually decided to film this video. The basketball purse, like baby. Yes, it came out so good. I don't know why I didn't believe myself. I knew it was going to come out, you know, A-OK -okay because I do have that creative skill. But I did not think it was going to come out this good. Like, girl, people want me to start making these for them. But this is how it turned out. I've wanted one of these purses for a little while now, but um, I couldn't seem to find them in the store. I didn't want to order them because I needed it for a special occasion. It wasn't going to get here in time. And also, they're a little expensive. So I decided to go to the cheap route, went to the thrift store, picked up a couple of goodies and came out with this gorgeous purse. This um was really a handyman's job. Okay, my hands were hurt for two days straight. These wires are nothing to play with, but I still think it was definitely worth it. Hope you guys give it a try Um, because I don't see too many tutorials on the way that I did it. A lot of people are kind of taking the easy route out and buying all of their accessories to go on the bag and that was expensive so i decided to take the cheaper version and it's probably why it cost me the feeling in my hands for two days the hard wire in this bag i did find a lot of the stuff around my house so i do have two um wires going in for each handle but i did run out of wires that i could find around the house these are actually like little keychains that i found um you know the little silver things that you put your keys on yeah that's i just unraveled it and put it in the ball the inside of the ball looks atrocious but that's not the point the point is the outside anyway back on track but um i did run out of like little keychain things that, that i could find so this one only has one but it's still very sturdy like This stuff isn't going anywhere. Your girl did her thing. But the way I placed these two made it to where this, it won't be moving all over the place, you know? So.
All right, so you guys obviously know the last DIY I decided to take on was my stack leggings. I actually were going to sew these by hand, but I didn't know how long and how time consisting that was going to be. So I whipped out my sewing machine. I did not know how to work it, but I decided to figure it out because hand sewing was not it. It was a no-go. I did figure that out. Again, I did TikToks for all of these if you guys want to see because I don't think I really recorded the whole process of it. By the time I got to this last DIY, I was fed up. I was tired. I was ready to spend money just on the real project because this... <laughs> again just like the basketball purse i do have people coming at me to make them their own stack leggings stack jeans your girl's gonna be making a little bit of profit or whatever now what i do have to say about these leggings that i bought from walmart i wouldn't really recommend buying them because these are extra small extra small i wear like a seven in jeans i cannot fit an extra small but i wanted them to be as tight and as bodycon as possible but these were not like when i try them on they're still like baggy which i don't understand why aren't you sucked into my body why aren't I suffocating? But um, they're still cute. Maybe if I gain some weight or something. I know I've been eating a lot. So that's probably really, really possible. I wasn't blessed in the booty. I was blessed in the thighs. But the thighs still don't fit. So I don't know what to tell you. Alright guys, so you have made it to the end of this video. If you guys did make it this far, make sure to comment the scissors emoji in the comments box below so I know you guys did watch all the way through and you are true supporters. This is something kind of new for my channel. You know, I've always loved the DIY videos. I'm like binge watch them all the time. It saves money, so why not? You know, pros outweigh the cons. So if I have inspired in you guys to get into your creative side get into your room and just make stuff happen give this video a big thumbs up um comment down below i want to know what you guys are thinking if you guys do want to know the details on this hair and watch me get installed and all dolled up i did do a video on that it'll be in the eye above or at the link in the description see you guys in my next video hopefully you know click that subscribe button i definitely will bye